Well, this may seem relatively basic, but I get asked the question often enough that I thought I'd just do a little demonstration. As you know, exposure is the, uh, the amount of light that you put either on the film or on the sensor in your digital camera. And that's controlled by uh, the aperture of the lens, uh, which is how wide open or small that, uh, that opening is, and the, uh, the shutter speed, how long the shutter's open. So it's kind of like if you have a door, uh, the number of people that can come into the room is dependent on how wide the door is open and how long it's open. So uh, I'm going to use a 35 millimeter camera here to demonstrate it just because it's, it's pretty easy to see. So this is the shutter and I'm going to sort of put it up against the white door there. So that's the shutter when it's open. Actually that's the aperture as well but you see that was the shutter. All right now I was holding that open. Let's show you what it looks like say if it's for one second. All right so that's a second. Uh, let me show you. I'll give you a thirtieth of a second here. And a sixtieth. Sixtieth is what a lot of you will be uh, syncing your flashes to. That's a sixtieth. And we'll show you a two hundred and fiftieth of a second. That's getting pretty quick. And let's just show you what a thousandth of a second looks like. So that's it. That's what shutter speed is. And uh, the faster that uh, that shutter speed opens and closes, the less light's going to get to the subject. Uh, the longer it's open, the more light is going to get, not to the subject, but to the, uh, to the film or to the, the uh, uh, digital sensor. Uh, as you know, that if you're shooting uh, things that are moving fast, you probably want to use a faster shutter speed so that you don't have blur. If you're in lower light situations, you may want to shoot at a slower shutter speed so that you can get more light. All right? So that's it. We will talk about uh, aperture in, in another video. Thank you.